Hey church, this is Pastor Josh from First Assembly of God here in Greencastle, Pennsylvania. And I am recording this from Royal Family Kids Camp. Behind me you can see where the kids have been coming for their services and they're having a great week here at camp. And I want to give you an update. I want to just say, first of all, say thank you so much for your support of the ministry here at First Assembly. And uh, you're, you're helping us be able to do what we say, His will, His way here at the church. And we just thank you. So I want to uh, just uh, record this, give you some updates of all that God has been doing, at least some highlights of this summer, what God has been doing, and just, uh, just to say thank you as well. So uh, this summer we've had two uh, different weeks of Teen Reach Adventure Camp which is a camp for teens coming from uh, troubled situations, maybe foster homes or abused homes, or maybe their parents are in prison. And so we saw about 20 teens ministered over those two weekends through Teen Reach Adventure Camp. Um, and then we also had a six week VBS outreach this summer for students and families in our community. And uh, your giving helped us to, to be able to do that outreach and advertise and get the word out to our whole community about that. We saw lots of families impacted and touched and making connections in our neighborhoods. And so thank you so much. Um, summer youth activities. We had uh, many weeks of summer youth activities and we saw anywhere between 15 and 20 teens each week coming out for those. And we're excited as we, we're in a break right now, but we're going to relaunch our Wednesday nights coming up in a few weeks. And uh, we're really excited about all that God's going to do, going to do uh, in the fall. Uh, we took eight students to youth camp, Pendel Youth Camp, and they had an incredible time. And uh, we had two of our students come back, and they're actually in talks with the school about officially starting a Bible club. Uh, right across the street at the middle school and so we're excited about that uh, we had a weekend of special services with andre Funsale. Uh, that was in the middle of july and we, god was just doing powerful things his word was proclaimed god was encouraging edifying building up the church reminding us that god is doing a, a brand new thing and we're just excited and hopeful for all that god is doing uh, as I said, I'm coming, uh, recording this here at Royal Family Kids Camp uh, here in the mountains. It's beautiful. I wish I could take you on and show you. And the kids are right above us eating lunch and having a great encounter this week. So Royal Family Kids Camp, what you say, what is that? It's, it's, it's similar to Teen Reach Adventure Camp, but it's for the children. So it's children coming from foster homes. Some are coming from abused or neglected situations. Some are coming where their parents are in prison and, and just uh, you know finding a home or the, the system sends them to this camp. And so it's a week of camp just for them and loving on them, showing and sharing the love of Jesus with them. We just wrapped up a, a Bible a breakfast club with them, uh, just doing songs and teaching from God's word, encourage them with my memory verse from God's word. And so it's a powerful ministry and um, uh, just encourage you, if you have any interest or any questions about these ministries, you can uh, just, you can search it online, greencastle.royalfamily.org. They're always looking for staff and volunteers. You can volunteer for one of those opportunities. Uh, something else, just to highlight, that we're, we've been paying down our ministry center mortgage this year. We started the year at $90,000 owing. And right now I can, uh, I can announce to you that we owe $39,000. So God has provided about $51,000 this year. And so that, that's amazing. That is supernatural. That's above and beyond. And so we're just excited about that. And finally, I wanted to just close with this. Uh, every Tuesday we meet for worship and prayer together. Um, and it's a powerful time in his presence. And I wanted to share just a story from that time and encourage you in your walk with the Lord to continue to seek after him with all your heart. I want to sh share a story about a, name, a man named Steve. And uh, my very first hospital visit since the COVID lockdown was uh, a, few, a few weeks prior, uh, maybe a few, a few months ago now. And his name is Steve and he was in the hospital and he's had battled many health problems and issues and situations and they called me. Uh, he had, his heart had stopped six or seven times and they spent over an hour trying to revive him and bring him back. Uh, you know, get him uh, back to life and all that. So I got called into the hospital room. I walk in and basically Steve looked like a corpse laying on a table. There was tubes in and he's on a ventilator and 
his eyes were wide open. He's staring at the ceiling. Uh, the, the doctors even came over and were touching his eyelids and his eyes and there was no movement, no reaction, nothing. And they basically told us and the family that uh, you know, chances are there's no brain activity and they didn't expect at all that he would uh, survive this. And so we didn't know what to do. All we needed to do was to pray. And, and wouldn't you know, that was a Tuesday night. That, that same night that I was in the hospital room was the same night that we had a, a group of people at the church praying and believing God for a miracle in Steve's life. And so we prayed. We simply prayed, you know, God, uh, you touch Steve's body. And then, you know, I went into the waiting room talking with his wife. And it was about 45 minutes later, the, the one son runs out into the waiting room and says, Dad's, Dad's responding and Dad's starting to kind of wake up. And we, we rush into his room, and sure enough, he's, he's moving his fingers. He's, he's responding to questions that we're asking him. And uh, uh, wouldn't you know that today Steve is home. He's off a ventilator. He's breathing on his own. He's eating on his own. He's talking. He's, you know, uh, there's no evidence of brain uh, uh, issues there. And uh, so we're just rejoicing in what God can do. God is the God of the impossible. So... Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for your generosity. Thank you. We could not do what we do without your support, without your prayers. Please continue to pray for us that we would be able to do his will, his way, and that lives would continue to be impacted for his kingdom. Thank you so much. God bless you.